We should always be looking to take better care of our hair, no matter our age. While you may have a healthy head of hair, all it takes is a few years of mismanagement for it to all come crashing down. That's why understanding whether or not you have healthy hair and what's contributing to the health of your hair is important. In this article, we will go over the signs of healthy hair, the signs of unhealthy hair, and how you can promote hair volume and growth. What are the signs of healthy hair? The first step to understanding the health of your hair is understanding what it is you should be looking out for. If you're lucky enough to have a healthy head of hair, you probably already know it. This is because you are more than likely taking the steps necessary to promote strong hair. Here are some of the signs of healthy hair. Shiny and smooth. A silky head of hair is generally a sign that your hair is healthy. Good elasticity. The bouncier your hair, the healthier. You shed a few strands of hair a day. Losing hair is actually healthy. This is because our hair grows in cycles and each follicle has a growth stage. Detangles easily. The easier it is to brush your hair, the healthier your hair is. Moisture doesn't make your hair fritz right away. Frizzing can happen more frequently if your cuticles are damaged. Of course, you can experience one or even a few of these things and still not have a 100% healthy head of hair. Also, just because you may have a head of healthy hair doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the steps necessary to keep your hair healthy. What are the signs of unhealthy hair? Taking the steps necessary to strengthen your hair first requires you to recognize that you may have unhealthy hair. The signs can be obvious, such as balding and pain when brushing, but other signs can be more subtle. Here are some signs that you may have unhealthy hair. Split ends. Make sure there aren't two hairs where there should only be one. No shine. Dull hair can be a sign that your hair could be healthier. More tangles. If you can't run your hands through your hair without feeling a few snags, it could be because your hair is damaged. Less bounce. Remember when we talked about density earlier? If your hair doesn't bounce, it could be a sign it's not healthy. If you feel as if your hair is unhealthy, it's time to take the steps necessary to straighten it. Foods to promote hair density and growth. When it comes to a healthy head of hair, you may not even think about the role your diet plays. However, experts agree that our diets play a huge role in determining the strength of our hair. This is due to the nutrients and minerals found in healthy, well-balanced diets. Here are some of the foods you should add to your diet if you're looking to strengthen your hair. Eggs, berries, spinach, fatty fish, sweet potatoes, avocados, nuts. What medical conditions cause hair loss? Unfortunately for us, experts are still unsure as to what exactly is responsible for hair loss. It is believed that genetics play the biggest role, but things like age, diet, lifestyle choices, and medical conditions can all factor into the equation. Here are some medical causes for hair loss. Pregnancy, thyroid disorders, anemia, autoimmune diseases, polycystic ovary syndrome, skin conditions. How can I strengthen my hair naturally? There are many factors that contribute to hair loss. So many, in fact, that researchers still aren't 100% certain as to why hair loss happens. While it is believed that diet, diseases, lifestyle choices, and mental health all play a role, most researchers believe that the main reason is genetics. Even though our genetics may be out of our control, there are still some ways that you can promote fast hair growth naturally. Here are some natural hair growth tips. Massages. Scalp massages can help improve hair growth. This is because massages stimulate the scalp by stretching your hair follicles, encouraging hair growth and thickness. Ginseng. The number one way you can boost your hair growth is by stimulating your hair follicles. Ginseng supplements can help promote hair growth because genocenosoids, the active components of ginseng, stimulate your hair follicles. Aloe vera. It reduces dandruff and can unblock any hair follicles that may be blocked by excess oil. You can apply pure aloe vera gel to your scalp and hair a few times per week. You can also use shampoo and conditioner that contain aloe vera. Supplements can help. Taking care of your body with a proper diet, exercise routine, and supplement regimen can help you prevent hair loss. As we mentioned earlier, 
vitamin supplements can greatly improve hair quality and growth. One other supplement to look into is spermidine. Spermidine is a naturally occurring polyamine that helps your body induce a process known as autophagy. Autophagy is your body's natural cellular renewal process, which recycles older, potentially damaged cell parts with newer, healthier ones. While the research on spermidine and hair growth is still early, the results have been promising. Spermidine supplementation has been shown to reduce hair loss by boosting keratin production, a key protein necessary for hair and nail growth. Furthermore, studies have shown spermidine supplementation to prolong the antigen phase of hair growth, the phase responsible for hair growth. Hey there, thanks for checking us out on YouTube. I'm Daniel from Longevity Labs. We want you to know that we put a lot of time and energy into bringing you the best available information on how to live a longer and a happier life. Follow us here on YouTube or your favorite social channel and stay up to date with what we're working on. Thank you again, and it'll be worth your time.